right hello everyone welcome back to another video i hope you are well today i have a food haul for you another tesco haul and this is quite a substantial one june is my birthday month and i said hey ho let's go i'm going to buy myself some extra bits and pieces so there are a few more treats here than usual and i hope you enjoy if you do hit subscribe and like the video but let's get into it. Okay, so on to the first item. We have six Cornettos, strawberry Cornettos. Not much else to say on this one. Ice cream is life. Okay, and then I have six mini Magnums. They look super yummy. They're like a cookies and cream sort of situation. We have the white chocolate and cookies one and then we have the chocolate and crunchy cookies one. So I look forward to tucking into those. Yummy goodness. And then I bought some puff pastry blocks. They're always good to have around. And then I got some Mackey's ice cream. I haven't had this or seen this since I was a child. So it's nice to see and it will be nice to eat with a sticky toffee pudding that I intend to make soon. Now, this is a new item to me, but it did have really good reviews and that's why I bought it. Um, so we shall see. They live in the freezer. Maybe I'll do a review. We'll see. And then I bought two lots of breaded chunky cod fillets. Always great to have in the freezer or in the fridge for days when you can't be bothered to cook. Likewise, with the quiche Lorraine, I always like to get one of these and pop it in the freezer. I then got some breaded fish cakes. I got one cod and one smoked haddock. I've never had the haddock ones, but I hope they are as nice as the cod ones. And then I got three lots of four pint milk. I'm going to pop two of them in the freezer and put one in the fridge. But yeah, that's the first lot of items moving on to the next lot with this video you'll see it's slightly different to my previous hauls i thought i would give you a little bit more of a background you know behind the scenes of me setting up these shots for you so yeah let me know if you have any opinion on this um yeah let me know Okay, so we have some veg in this corner, potentially the biggest parsnip I have ever seen in my life. I'm so pleased I only requested one parsnip, but that's great. And then these really bright and vibrant bell peppers. And then we have a large garlic. And then I decided to get some regular garlic also. In addition to that, I got some coriander. I was supposed to get parsley, but I accidentally put coriander on the shopping list. And then we have some cathedral cheese, some Activia, and two lots of mayonnaise. And then we have Lurpak. I only got this because it was on club card price. I do not buy it full price these days because, you know, I just feel like I'm going to end up having to go to the bank and ask for a mortgage to buy some Lurpak, you know? Right, and then I got some double cream that is for the sticky toffee pudding that I intend to make. And then we have one loose broccoli and some pate. I haven't had pate since December and I thought, what with it being my birthday soon, I would just treat myself. And then there was a deal on the ham, so I got some honey roast ham and some Wiltshire cured ham. And then this is also a new thing to me, but I'm really loving the Fire Pit range at Tesco. So I got the 14 Jumbo Pork Sausages. They are absolutely enormous, but I thought they would be great for hot dogs and also for sausage rolls. To go with that, I got the Fire Pit Jumbo Brioche Hot Dog Rolls. They are absolutely enormous and they look yummy and I really look forward to eating them. 
And if you've watched any of my hauls, you'll know this is a standard. The seeded bread, and yes, it is the same one. The farmhouse superseded loaf. Tried and tested. Part of the household. Part of the family. Okay, so, some more stuff. Hang in there, guys. We're getting there slowly but surely. Now we have a substitute. These are some small bananas. And one conference pair. I like to buy loose pairs because they're much bigger and they just look yummy. Then I got one lemon for a, my birthday cake that I am going to be baking. And then some apples. And there was also a red onion, but I don't know why I didn't show that to you. But nonetheless, you probably know what a red onion looks like. There we are. It's peeking in the corner there. So we've got two lots of potatoes and some brown onions. And I bought these foil cooking dishes because I want to do some batch baking and I thought that they would be a really good thing to help me with that batch baking and freezing items for the future. I also got some cranberry juice. This is another substitute, some barbecue sauce. I actually wanted the fire pit barbecue sauce, but apparently so did everyone else. So we'll see how this one goes. And then we've got some sweet chilli sauce, some soy sauce. And last but not least, we have some mustard. I say last but not least, but I mean for the condiments, you understand. Now we have some pasta sauce. I love this pasta sauce. It's great. And then we have two lots of oil. One vegetable oil and one olive oil. Because the other day, somebody was um, frying with the olive oil. And I, I felt like my head was going to fall off. So I thought, let's get some vegetable oil. So that I don't ha need to have a nervous breakdown. Now that was beer for my dad's um, Father's Day present. And we've got some food bags for the... Um, batch baking. I've got the standard crackers that are in every haul that I do at this point and some greaseproof paper. There's also some mackerel in tomato sauce. We've got four of those and some baked beans because Heinz means no beans means Heinz. Gosh did I watch any of the adverts? There's also chopped tomatoes. You saw those didn't you guys? You did. Okay gosh let's try and make this less chaotic. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to be putting some of these items away now. Um, it's only really when you start putting things away that you think, you know, was this good value for money or was it not? Okay, so moving on to some last few bits. And here is a loaf of bread that I forgot to mention before. It wasn't with all the other bread, so that's why I forgot it. Okay, so moving on to mainly snacks. So I got two lots of Pink Panther wafer biscuits. And then next I got some Kit Kat Chunkies. Um, now, the whole Chunky thing, it's more like a name, it's, you know, Chunky by name, but not so much by nature. And then, speaking of nature, we've got some Nature Valley bars, and some plantain chips, and some Ritz crackers. Then we have a packet of Ravels, and some peanut M&Ms as well, and the most important thing, my peppermint tea. 
and then I got some cream crackers and also some orange Kit Kats. I haven't had these in years. I also got some water biscuits or I suppose water crackers. Those are for my pate. I also got a Toblerone again for my dad's Father's Day gift and some chocolate peanuts. I also got some unsalted peanuts as well and some prawn cocktail what's it. I also got some McCoy's cheddar and onion crisps and then these yummy looking triple chocolate muffins. They just look so decadent and I cannot wait to tuck in. And then I got some lasagna sheets and some noodles and two lots of flour. We got some strong white flour and some plain flour as well. And also I got a big box of Walker's crisps. I know it says there's a 20 pack, but let's be real. They're only halfway filled, so let's just call it 10. Okay, let's call it 10 packets of crisps. Thank you. Okay. Now, moving on to the last few bits. I got three lots of eggs and some country crisp cereal. I don't buy this too often because it's too nice, <laughs> but I bought the strawberry variety and I got some fruit and fiber also. Here are some bake at home baguettes. They're good for a quick homemade um, garlic bread without having to make your own baguettes. And then last but not least, we have some water and some toilet roll, two essentials for all humans in life. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this haul. Once again, if you did, do hit subscribe. It's cheaper than my food shop. In other words, it's free. And um, I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day or the rest of your weekend or your week, whichever one makes more sense. But yeah, take care. Bye.